Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. But now you're gonna see my whole kitchen, mostly. I never show this because usually I have so many projects in process that they're staged all over this giant island behind me. So right now it's pretty clear. And so this is the whole thing. When you see my little corner back there where I do most of my cooking, it's the heart. But there, there's a whole lot more to this. And I'm showing you all this for a reason. And some of it is messy, like I still have my mop over here. And that's my living room. Firewood. And over here I have these huge racks. And that's going to be <laughs> a work in progress soon. We're making some plans for all this. It's my walk-in pantry. And more racks. And this is the bay window of my kitchen, which is full of plants. Some that go outside in the summer and some that stay in. And down here is more of that work in progress because... <laughs> I need storage, so we're going to be working on another pantry, and that's for the future, so we'll get to but that with later. all of this, we're still off-grid, and there's considerations, like that dishwasher that's propped open with a dishcloth, because we don't use the heated dryer, although we occasionally use the dishwasher, but we also do a lot of dishes by hand. We pick and choose our battles. So this is my kitchen. Here are my cats. And that's one of their boxes. If you don't give them boxes, you, you'll be sorry because they'll get into something else. So, and that's Harold. He's supposed to be Harry, but you have to use his whole name because he's usually in trouble. And this is my dining room. It's a huge room. Wide open. With a beautiful view out the front window. And I don't get to use this as much as I would like. But when I do, it really makes me happy. And most of you have seen these views before. It's December, so there's not a whole lot green or growing because we're in the high desert and it's cold. <laughs> we get very cold temperatures. Teens at night right now, which is kind of a challenge. And that is my new little greenhouse that I got from an estate sale. And I haven't been able to find any information on it. But it's only about four and a half feet tall. And it has trays that spin around for your plants. I've got to replace the glass. That'll probably be next winter garden. Over there's my goats and my chicken coop. So, why am I showing you all of this right now? Well, that's a good question. Okay, so here's why I'm showing you all of this right now. I have wanted for ever since we bought our property in 2003, I've wanted to name it. And I came up with a name that I thought I liked, but it's just too big. And Villa Divina Della Rosa, it's too much of a mouthful. <laughs> but a house of wine and roses. I love roses and we have wine here. So 
and I want to grow a vineyard at some point. But it just wasn't a practical name. Brian had a couple of ideas and they were immediately vetoed because nuclear waste estates and bend over acres just aren't gonna cut it. <laughs> They're just not okay with me. So I decided to ask you, my YouTube friends, to help me come up with a name for our homestead. And I've had a lot of ideas, but I just can't come up with a good name. So what I'm gonna do is this. I'm asking y'all to give me your best ideas. And I'm not gonna guarantee I'll pick one of them, but hopefully it's gonna be a start because I wanna name my homestead. This is Vicki's country home and it will stay that, but I would still like to have another name for my homestead. So give me some ideas down below in the comments. You know I love to cook, can make sourdough breads. I've got all my critters. I've got the goats and the chickens and the dogs and the cats. There's so many different aspects to my homestead. So give me some ideas. Now what I'm gonna do, and this is not gonna be dependent on if or what name I pick, but I'd like to do something for y'all for helping me come up with some ideas. So I'm gonna to put together a gift box and it's gonna have various things in it. Some might be homemade, some might be really useful items for a homestead. So let's give this a week. And today is December 4th. Put your comments below and in one week, next, let's make it next Saturday. So I think that's gonna be the 12th. I have to look at my calendar. But today's the 4th and in one week, I will have a random drawing of everyone who comments with an idea for my homestead name below. And you will get a box from me. Let's keep it to the continental US, please. I'd love to extend it, but y'all know what shipping is right now. It's just crazy. So give me your best ideas. Tell me what you think I should call this homestead. Please keep it clean and keep it nice because everything else is gonna be deleted. So thank you for your help on this. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit more of my homestead. God bless and we're gonna talk soon.